started out with a few older link belts, had good uh, good results out of them, good service. And we bought a, a 248, thought we died and gone to heaven. And uh, pieces is just getting bigger and bigger, so we were in the market for a larger crane. We were looking at triple A, looking at what we needed, triple nine, and we ended up going to the factory for the Expo, and they unveiled the 298, exactly what we wanted. We looked at wanting to set, say, a three-level parking deck and set in the center bay and set the par product in the outside bay in, a thir in the third bay of an eight-level deck. To do that, we were looking at having to use a luffer. And we were looking at the preliminary luffer charts for the 298 versus the, the triple eight. And the 298 actually at certain places for us is a better chart. Um, we've got on this project we have here, it's a, uh, we got some real big pieces, 75, 80,000 pound pieces. Uh, and we're having no problems with setting setting on it in the middle bay and setting the outside pieces. Uh, I felt like the 298 would, is, is going to be one of the best machines for the, this precast that we can find. I've been running these cranes for 30 years plus. It's uh, we've got a new 298 link belt here at the crawler. Uh, it's a 230 ton machine. It's Outstanding hook rig. It's handling the 80,000 pound uh, real well. Uh, it's real fast, and it, but it, it is smooth too. It's, you've got the high and low V10 uh, on the controls, high and low speed, uh, uh, up and down. It's, it works really, really well. The the engine has it's. Uh, a lot of power. It's a lot of hydraulic power. Multi-function is just it's, it's no problem at all. The uh, the travel on the machine is it's got real wide pads and, and it doesn't have the big hole in the sides now. It's, they put a little flap on there and, and it doesn't it doesn't gouge in the dirt as bad. You, you need to make a hard turn. It's not it's not as hard to it doesn't scoop up the dirt as bad with uh, with these new tracks. Uh, it's a lot of power on the tracks. It travels really well. It'll walk with anything it'll pick up. Now the swing is, is real smooth on the machine. If, if you need to just, if, if they need an eighth of an inch, you're coming in slow, they need an eighth of an inch, you can, you can just stop it right there on, on, the, on the dime. About every four days we have to uh, refuel it. That, that's, a, that's a lot of hard running. And this is an eight level deck power everything up, eight floors, power it back down, eight floors, it's, it's running wide open a lot, and, and it's a uh, 135 gallon fuel tank, fill it up uh, once every four days. Believe it or not, we tore it down with 180 foot of boom in it, tore it down, loaded it out by itself, no assist train, in six hours and gone. Now, our rigging crew does that, and uh, these boys love it. It's like three guys, and it, uh, they, I think it takes them uh, six hours from start to finish. Boom it down, tear it down, haul it off, six hours. They, they love it. And when we brought it to Charleston here on this project, we put it together, and this is an extremely tight side. And uh, we put it back, back together and uh, used the uh, the crane itself, no assist crane, and it had no problems with it. It does it really well. The resale value on Link Belt Crane has been really, really good. Uh, we, uh, you know, if you get them and you keep them eight, nine, ten years, you can just about get what you pay for them back on trade or either sell them. And in ten years, the way we do and the way we keep them up, can run them every day, no problem with it. This has been a pleasure with this machine.